I'll show you. Have a look at this. This is an app. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! on Manga Street. As you can see, all these cartoons, uh, anime, but manga. Manga, I think, is the one that, that's stationary. But like anime stuff, how cool is this? It's like a whole street dedicated to it. Have a look at this. This is an app. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! What is oh, going on? That, that, that is that, just that. the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh wow, I wonder if they all do this. The street came alive. I'm totally linking that app oh, below. Oh Could you see it? I think I can. I think I can. I'm just going to stop this just to see if it recorded. So this is Manga Road. Now, as you just saw, you can get an app, which Ricky is going to do, and we'll download those and add them to, to this video. But for those that don't work... <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. Oh, happy Rick, happy Rick. Does he also do things? Yeah, wait, I'm downloading this one too. Okay, so she's downloading. You can download them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as many as we can. But for those that don't work, have a look at this. And this art is actually really good. So just a walk by. Because I'm sure some of these are going to be absolutely classic. Did you know Sinigami only eats apples? <laughs> I wonder if it... <laughs> this is me being recorded by the, the app so I can be part of this anime experience. Okay, I'll go. Are we going? Can you see me? Cool. I'm huh? What's happening? What does it look like? <laughs> Ricky getting her angel selfie on. <laughs> Ricky is an angel. And he come in an evil <laughs> like. <laughs> really cool street. Really, really cool. You gotta come here and check it out. I suppose when this shop is open, you don't get to see this. But have a look at that. I mean, some of this art is great. And you can see the names of the guys who actually did it. On the bottom. <laughs> Manga Avenue, I don't know what it's really called. Is really something spectacular. It is a must visit. And if you come in, get the app. Get the app and just have a look at what they've done. There's some details of some of these artists. Some of this anime stuff. It is really great. Check them out. For sure. Magical Chinatown. This is one of the most amazing pieces of street art. It's a Chinese street artist. And look at the detail. It's incredible. Street art everywhere you turn. Just beautiful. Really old stone wall, beautiful Chinese mural. Mural? And <laughs> mural. And the dragon. Made from plastic bottles. Slightly more subtle art. This is slightly more subtle on the walls but this is great because it's part of the revitalization of Chinatown but it is Chinese New Year so <laughs> let me grab a bit firecrackers, oh, firecrackers. to ward yeah, off yeah. the bad well, bad well, luck gunpowder. wow wow this 
This is commissioned art. It is beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. I'll get you some better pictures uh, right now. And you match it so well. And people come here to get photographs taken. Not saying anything, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is a, a Zimbabwean artist who came. He was commissioned in the first year of the Pauli Festival. And this was a fusion of uh, African and Chinese culture that he represented on this mural. It's actually quite stunning. I don't know if it's ever truly going to be quiet enough in Chinatown to tell you this, but this is one of the commissioned ones, like Ricky just told you. But Chinatown is trying to revitalize the whole of Chinatown. So you'll see this artwork everywhere, almost everywhere. So this is a bit of a crossover from the artwork video that will come out soon and the Chinatown video because a lot of the great art is actually coming out of Chinatown because they, they're actually commissioning artists like the Zimbabwean guy, there are a couple of guys from France and some of them, oh, yeah, they're very from all, all over, famous artists as well as Mauritians. Thanks for that Rick. Motorbikes. Uh, anyway, this is one of the, the pagoda, picture in a pagoda that you should take. Ricky's not walking away with me, but you know, that was the idea. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more of a close up. <laughs> Girl in a pagoda. <laughs> this is actually street art. And it's got the guy's name. seems to be everywhere. Look at that beautiful stone. Wow. Even down a little side alley you're going to find a little bit of street art. It seems to be everywhere. I'm not sure what it is about the rocks but there's one and there's some more fun funky ones. So someone has painted some stones <laughs> in Sierra and left them left them around. Oh, sad one. But loads of artwork, loads of, and a happier one. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit goofy. Wow. Street art everywhere. This is next to the Port Quark tea shop. I think if you come during regular times, you're probably going to miss, miss some of the street art because it's on shutters. And when they open the shutters, they're just going to disappear. So do yourself a favor, come when it's bustling, but also come have a look when all the shops are closed. Okay, so while it's a bit quieter, back to some street art. You can find it everywhere and there is a really cool map that someone has made and we will link that in the description. So you can go treasure hunt all the street art, there are loads. This is how we get to find all the art. There's a map, I'll put a link in it for you guys. But if you have a look, this is where we just were. Very so, useful. Very useful. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, and you can come treasure hunt Port Larry's street art. It's a great day out and get some foods. This is some more, some more street art, but they have, have seem to have these QR codes. I wonder what those do. I'm going to just try it quickly and I'll let you know. This mural is Sun Yat Sen. Nice. What is that? Crackers to ward off bad spirits. Yeah, and so the QR codes will actually take you to a Facebook page and you can look up something there. Oh, there's a video! <laughs> I'll just disappear yeah. into the background. <laughs> Ricky and the fishies. Oh, she just disappears into the red door. She really does. Where's Ricky? Where's Ricky? We can't find her. We can't find her. <laughs> Loch Ness Dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and some more of the street art. Okay, remember I said there was that NCF stuff? That's the new Chinatown Foundation. That's the guys who are bringing all this street art in Chinatown. Wow. Thank you. 
Don't forget to hashtag dragon in Chinatown. Nice. <laughs> Vegetable seller here with some art. Oh, and this is the new Chinatown Foundation. Have a look at this beautiful building. Oh. Yeah, you got a panda and you got Hello Kitty or Ni Hao Kitty, but look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, there's more. Bruce Lee. <laughs> oh, and there's a butterfly wing. I'm going to go do a butterfly wing. Here we go. <laughs> Fly away! <laughs> so even though this house is old and wooden, they remind you guys here from these beautiful, beautiful paintings. Look at the stone building. There's no racism. Be like a panda. I'm black and white and Asian. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My kung fu is better than your kung fu. <laughs> I couldn't see your lips. <laughs> I couldn't see your lips. I couldn't see my lips. Yeah, do it. My kung fu is better than your kung fu. Oh, sweetheart. It's like a, a treasure hunt. And you can come do it on a nice, easy day trip. Right. If you can find this one, I'm not even sure if this one's on the map. It's not. But it looks pretty cool. This is Gaël Frager, a famous French artist. How did he get up there to do it? Because it really is up there. Cool. Kung Fu Panda. Come and find him. He's really cool. give you a hint. It's near this big building. Okay, that doesn't really help you in Port Louis. <laughs> a lot of the street art also has really interesting information. Like this beautiful water scene with a dolphin was painted by a Ukrainian artist who just fell in love with Mauritius and wanted to paint the sea. That is really cute. Ricky learning to play the flute. <laughs> okay, there's some more of the plastic dragon. You know, we're showing just a little bit of a little bit of the street art around Port Louis. There is so much, but you're going to need to come here and find it all for yourself because it's exquisite. Follow the map. Ricky's famous sound effect. Yeah, 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 nice.